How at your boy, how at your ride boy. Thumbs up this video if this is your first time subscribing to the channel, trying to grow the channel. Let's get into it. All right, so my uh, Prius, 2012 Prius. Get a whole video of the vehicle. 2012 Prius, tell, from the tail lights. Right, it's overheating. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it. First, I changed out a bunch of unnecessary things, but now I know I'll have a free, good, um, everything should be good. All right, so I changed out the uh, heating coolant system, which the, the, heated, the heater coolant temperature gauge, which is back in there, that's another video. And then I changed out the um, oh yeah, then I changed out the thermostat. So the heating coolant temperature should be about 20 bucks. And then I changed out the thermostat. This was actually 30 bucks I bought. I mean, it's cheaper online, but I got this from uh, the hard, the uh, parts store around. So I changed out the thermostat first and it was still overheating. Um, at first I had a lot of problems with this because the fans wasn't coming on. So I had to, this thing had, the fans wasn't coming on. So the fans were bad. I'm surprised it even was, overheating sooner than that the fans were bad it had a hole in the radiator and so i had to change out the radiator the fans the third that because i thought it was overheating the uh coolant i mean the coolant temperature system that's over there it's another video you can always look that up the thermo the thermostat housing which is this whole thing is the thermostat housing so it's like my third time running through cool coolant fluid fluid also and then I finally checked it out. It was the water pump. I'm gonna try to make this video short. Hope it give y'all some value. So it was a water pump. And I didn't diagnose it that it's the water pump only because of this reason. Now you see the gears in there, right? I like guess gears in there are supposed to be spinning. Um, this is a weird type of water pump also. So the gears in there are supposed to be spinning, All right? So what's, what's happening with this water pump is, it's working except for the gears are not kicking in. So the gears, those uh, wave looking gears are not kicking in. So I'll go and show you what, what, it, what it does. Which was confusing me because I, I could hear it kicking on, on, but it wasn't. Um, so I'll turn it on, power on, put it on the brake. Right, if you just turn these sensors all the way high and that, your fans should just kick on anyway. Your fans will kick on. Well, back at it. Your fan will kick on and your water pump will kick on if you put these in there. I have to put these two videos together because when I started the car, it actually engaged my Jeep, my uh, Bluetooth audio and then it just took the other half of the video. So whatever. But um, yeah, these both kick on. I'm trying to do this in one video so I don't have to clip anything together, guys. And you can't see it, but you see how it's not, it's not working. I mean, well, this is spinning that little, the inner, whatever this is, is spinning and vibrating, but the gears are not kicking in. So on the inside, it's working, but on the outside, you see it's doing nothing. So it's actually, like you can feel it rubbing and everything. Well, you can feel it, the, the other side of the thing, you turn it in, see? So I hope this helps somebody. Uh, if you want to the video, subscribe, try to grow my channel as fast as possible. And if you have any other questions, I'll tell you uh, the symptoms. Because at first, another symptom was the, uh, the lighting wasn't coming on, the, uh, the coolant sensor lighting. So it all like, kind of happened at one time. As I told you, as I told you guys, it was, a, it was a lot of problems with this. The fans weren't kicking on, so I had bad fans. That's what, That was the problem with my AC. My AC wasn't kicking on, so my fans were bad. And then when I took out the fans, I seen there was a little crack in my radiator. Uh, so I had to change the radiator out. And then I went through the, so go through these steps. The coolant temperature system, that's the one that tells the fans to kick on. And then your thermostat, that's the one that keeps the hot air in and circulates it. And then the water pump. So that's really your whole coolant system. And so, Hope so, somebody gets some value out of this video. If so, thumbs up the video. And um, yeah, that's it. Until uh, next time, holla at your boy, holla at your Rob Roy. Uh, yeah, also, it, it will cut off. So that's a problem. With, well, I ain't going to turn it off because it is in the video. But 
um, if the water pump is not working in your vehicle, it will shut off the uh, the car. So it is, it is like an intermittent shut off. It will just shut off. That means there might be a problem with your water pump also if you can't figure it out. So I just found those things out through trial and error. All right. Thanks again. Thumbs up the video. I'll let your boy. Till next time, subscribe to the channel.